In this video, we're going to take a look at this problem, the square root of 3x plus 9 minus the square root of x plus 4 equals negative 1, and try and solve for x. Now, with this problem, it's going to be... we're going to have to be very careful in how we solve. We know we need to get rid of some radicals, and we know we can do that with exponents. However, we can only deal with one radical at a time. So let's get this first radical over here alone. And we're going to do that by getting rid of the minus square root of x plus 4. And we can clear it by adding the square root of x plus 4. That's going to give us the square root of 3x plus 9 equals... I'm just going to put the square root first because it's positive... x plus 4 minus 1. Another thing you might have noticed also at the beginning is because we have an even root and even index, we are going to have to check our final answers on this problem just in case we get an extraneous solution or one that doesn't work. All right, now that we've got this square root alone on the left, we can get rid of a square root with a squaring or second power. And we'll do the same thing on both sides of the equation. Square clear square root, leaving us with 3x plus 9 equals... And when we square a binomial, we'll remember that when we have a plus b squared, we square the first term, and then we take the product twice. ab and ab would be 2ab, and then you square the last term. So when we square the first term, it's just x plus 4, because the square gets rid of the square root. And then we have the product, negative 1 times the square root, twice. Negative 1 times the square root is negative 2 times the square root of x plus 4. And then we'll square the last term. Negative 1 squared is positive 1. We can combine like terms to clean it up a little bit. 3x plus 9 equals x plus 4 and 1 is 5, minus 2 square root of x plus 4. Now that we've taken care of that first radical, we're going to go back and take care of the second radical by isolating it, getting this square root alone. And we can do that by subtracting x and subtracting 5. Gives us 2x plus 4 equals negative 2 square root of x plus 4. Finally, get the square root alone by dividing by negative 2. And again, when we divide by negative 2, we have to divide each and every term by negative 2, giving us negative x minus 2 equals the square root of x plus 4. And now we can finally get rid of that last square root by squaring both sides of the equation. Squaring is the opposite of square root, leaving just x plus 4 on the right side. And again, squaring x gives us x squared. And then we have the product twice. Negative x times negative 2 is positive 2x. Another positive 2x is positive 4x. And then square the last, negative 2 squared is positive 4. Now we've gotten rid of all those square roots by isolating the radical and squaring both sides. Now, if I scroll down to get some more space, we just have a quadratic. Let's make it equal 0 by subtracting x and subtracting 4. Gives us 0 on the right, x squared plus 3x, and the 4 subtract out as well. And then, once we have it equal to 0, we factor it, and we always start factoring by factoring out the greatest common factor of x, leaves us with x plus 3 equals 0. And then we can set each factor equal to 0. The first factor, the GCF, equals 0, and x plus 3 equals 0, which we can quickly solve by subtracting 3 from both sides to get x equals negative 3. We now have two possible answers for this radical equation. However, we can't say they are the final answer yet, because we do want to make sure we check our answer. So we're going to do that in a second part of this video. Part 1 here, we solved it, but we're not done yet, because we have to check one of those answers might be extraneous. And we'll check that out in the second part of this video.